In this video, we're going to be looking at the equation of a straight line and different forms of how we can represent the equation of a straight line. We're going to be looking at a few examples and sketching them. But first, let's try and decompose what this equation right here means. So what does each letter represent? Firstly, if we look at x, this can be thought of as the input. So if this is a function, the numbers that we're putting in is in the form of x. And then the numbers that we're getting out, this is just y. So this is the output. And then m and c, they're constants, so they're just numbers. And if we take c first, so we have plus c, and this represents the y-intercept. So if we were to sketch this graph, um, then the line would cross the y-axis at uh, y is equal to c. And this kind of makes sense, because if you put x is equal to 0 into this equation, um, this term just vanishes right here, and we're just going to get y is equal to c. And lastly, this uh, constant right here in front of x, the m, this represents the gradient. So this is really important. And it's called the gradient. And the gradient tells us how steeply the line uh, goes up or it goes down. So c gives us how high up the axis it is, and m kind of gives us how, how steeply the line goes up or down. So we can have a look at what this looks like on a set of axes. Let's draw the x-axis and the y-axis up here. And then for a general line, let's just draw a line like here. So the plus c constant, this gives us how high up the y-axis this line crosses. So it crosses the y-axis right here when x is equal to 0, and this is the plus c constant. And then m, the gradient, this tells us how steeply the line goes. So if m is really big, it's going to get pushed up here and go really fast upwards. But if m is negative, then it's going to go downwards in this direction. And another way you can think about this is, is if you move to the right by one unit, so we're moving to the right here, and we go to the right by one, then we have to go upwards, vertically upwards, by m units, right? So if you think about making m really big, then this is just going to push this line upwards, and we're going to get a steeper gradient. So this is what this, uh, these m and c constants mean. And I also want to draw attention to another form that we can write this equation in. We can also write ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Now this is an equivalent expression, um, and we can rearrange to get between these two expressions. Um, typically, a, b, and c would be integers, so whole numbers, um, and it's just an alternative way of writing the equation of a straight line. Typically, you'd prefer to have this, because uh, if you're given this equation, you can just read off what the gradient and the y-intercept are. So a common problem would be, if you're given an equation in this form, how can you rearrange to get back into this? So we're going to look at a few examples. So firstly, if we just look at a very simple example, we're going to do y is equal to minus 3x plus 2. Now this is already in the y equals mx plus c form, so we don't have to rearrange um, anything to get the information. So we can just read off that the gradient is the x coefficient, so this is minus 3, and the y-intercept is just the constant at the end, so this is 2. And we can also sketch this uh, straight line. So if we just go to the graph over here, and we know that it crosses the y-axis at 2. This is positive, so it's going to be somewhere above the x-axis, like here. And we also know the gradient is minus 3. This is negative. So this tells us that the line goes downwards like this. And the size of the number tells us how quickly it goes down. So for example, it's going to look something like this. That should be straight. I'm not very good at sketching. Um, but the minus 3 tells us that if we go to the right by one unit, then we have to go down by three units. So this gives us a sense of how steep this line is. And that's all the information you need to know about sketching a straight line. Okay, let's do one more example, and this is going to be in the other form. So we're going to have 6x minus 3y plus 12 is equal to 0. So we've got all the variables and constants on one side, and we want to first off rearrange to get it into y equals mx plus c form. So let's just move the y onto the right-hand side, and we'll get 6x plus 12 is equal to 3y. And then just divided by 3, uh, all these numbers are multiples of 3, so this simplifies quite nicely. And we get y is equal to 2x plus 4. Now this is in the y equals mx plus c form. This is what we want. So we can now go ahead and just take off uh, what the m and c constants are. 
So m is the x coefficient, this is the gradient. And the plus four is the y intercept. So just like before, we can go ahead and sketch this line just to get a sense of what it looks like. Okay, so we know that it crosses the y-axis at four. Let's draw this over here, for example. And we also know that the gradient is two. So it's positive, so it's going upwards. So the equation, the line's just gonna look something like this. Going through the y-intercept of four, and it's got a gradient of two. So if we go to the right, starting at any point, if we go to the right by one unit, then we're gonna have to go up to uh, go upwards by two units. And this gives us a sense of how steep the line is. So this is what this original equation looks like on the plane.